Yes, good morning friends and family. This is Richard, your friend here on Facebook. Coming to you from Port of Spain in Trinidad and Tobago. Today I'd like to speak about something that I uh, read about, a story that I saw on, uh, on the internet. And it just proves that we people, or we humans, have a way that we can ignore a problem out of existence, which really doesn't happen. We ignore the problem, but it would not go out of existence. It may just be lying there dormant, waiting for the proper opportunity to affect us. Now, the story I'm speaking of is, uh, it happened in China where this 27 year old young man for years suffered with very bad abdominal pains and he went to the doctor once and they couldn't find what was his problem so he lived with this problem for years these very bad abdominal pains now soon these abdominal pains started to affect his chest upon which he went to the doctors again the doctor his personal doctor I believe it is sent him to the um, the eight or the tenth people's hospital which I would believe is a hospital owned by the government and um, when they x-rayed this young man they found that his heart had moved a few inches to the right. Yes, you heard that. His heart moved a few inches to the right. The cause of that was that this young fella had a colon or intestines which had swollen something like 10 times its normal capacity so it pushed up into his chest and moved organs one side this gentleman had not had a proper bowel movement in 10 years yes you heard that correctly and I think I posted I posted that story on um, my personal page Ten years without having a proper bowel movement so the doctors had to do surgery on this young man to obviously save his life and they removed a section of his intestines that had backed up and I saw pictures of this thing that they cut out of this young man It, it, it in fact looked like a small undeveloped child of about two years old. It weighed 11 pounds. So in fact they cut out a piece of this man's, how do I put it delicately? They cut out a piece of this young man's shit bag. That was over swollen and it looked like a, a very large snake or womb or something like that now while this problem was developing I was sure I was sure that he would have been telling himself he is healthy everything is normal he could move around he could go to work he could do all his normal duties so there is no problem We should start looking, taking stock and looking at ourselves and realize that not everything is normal even though it looks that way, won't it? Even though it looks normal, it doesn't necessarily have to be normal, especially when we are not doing anything to enhance our health.
as children here in Trinidad and Tobago, we were accustomed whenever there's an August holiday or a um, Easter holiday or even Christmas holiday. Before going back out to school, one thing would have been certain. Your parents or your grandparents would have made sure that you have what we call a purge where your bowels are thoroughly well flushed of all parasites etc all fecal matter three times a year as a child you are guarantee of that I have been doing just a slight survey of this here recently in Trinidad here among people that I know only to be to, to find out that this doesn't happen anymore parents younger parents no longer purge their children they no longer clean their children's inside and bowels they would spend a lot of money fancy clothes nice shoes hairdos cell phones when on the inside they are rotting been eaten alive from the inside and as a trained father who has been made aware of certain things from the elders whenever I see a child and their eyes look glazed over and they are always coughing as if they have a very bad cold and they love to eat snacks whatever they eat doesn't really do much for them parasites worms especially don't even deworm children anymore so there are a lot of young children going about suffering with worms badly I've seen it in my own family trying to warn their parents that this is what is going on and they just simply don't see it as something serious we need to detox Every one of us, youngest to the oldest, we need to get rid of these parasites, get rid of all this dead fecal matter that is being absorbed back into our bodies, making us sick with all types of blood illnesses, diabetes, and damaging our heart, and all this sort of natural, quote unquote, natural happenings. We need to detox and as you know I have been advocating the original detox tea Vida Divina for a very long time now and I'd like to encourage you to get yourself some of this detox tea today tomorrow as soon as possible I'm sure that after listening to this you wouldn't like to know that sometime you end up in hospital with the doctors connecting you to some sort of machine to pump your stomach of these dead fecal matter and parasites have you ever seen one of those videos on YouTube where they do surgery on a person and taking out these long uh, thing that looks like noodles well those aren't noodles those are parasites those are worms tape worms round worms they look like spaghetti in a man's stomach and they eat more than you do anything that goes into your stomach they eat over 75 percent 80 percent 90 percent of the nutritional content of that food and leave you with nothing 
that's why you find a lot of people just big and bloated with a large belly and these are the people who are telling themselves I am healthy you need to get rid of these parasites don't you think it's time that you really get healthy get rid of these little animals living inside of you so again the original detox tea tea divina available from me richard right here in trinidad and tobago or anywhere worldwide we ship it to you just get in contact with me through uh, my phone number 868-353-9879 or leave a comment or a message down at the bottom of this post and I'll respond to it. I give you free delivery here in Port of Spain or meet you at the nearest point. Other than that I can have it shipped to you right here in Trinidad also because it's very easy to place in an envelope and send to you. One pack of detox tea makes a gallon which would last you a week plus. So that's a week supply for a, uh, one that um, is made by one pack of tea. Get yours and stop suffering under the pretense that you are healthy. Okay? So this is Richard. You do have a great day. Get yourself detoxed.